Welcome to my smorgasbord. Actually, welcome to my most highly technical, most scientific test. Just a little background information here. This is my P64, my Polish P64. It shoots the 9 by 18 Makarov, which is over here. That's a 9 millimeter Luger. And the Boss 45 Auto. So far, I've been pretty impressed with the ballistics of this uh, little bullet. The only thing is, I'm still not sure whether I actually like this. I mean, I like the pistol, I think it's cool. I like the looks of it. It gives you a little bite sometimes if you've got thick hands like I do uh, when you grip it. When the slide comes back, if you're not careful. But it's a neat little pistol, so I'm not going to bash it. When I ordered this P64 from J&G Sales, of course there was another drama, but I won't go into that one. I actually ordered some recoil springs from Wolf. And I ordered a 20 pound recoil spring, which is listed right there. And that is the spring, and they, they include a little trigger spring with each packet. And we'll come back to those in a minute. I also ordered a 22 pound spring just for comparison. I started to put these in just to try them out. I'm going to go to the range in the next few days. I realized I have no idea how to compare the, the original spring or the spring that's in here now, I doubt it's the original, but um, I have no idea how to compare them. So what I thought I would do is a highly scientific uh, test here where I actually measure um, the weight it takes to compress these springs a given distance. So, oh man, the boss, the boss fell over. What I did was I came up with a piece of PVC pipe that was relatively, it's not half the distance, but it's a reasonable difference to compress the spring. And I'm going to measure the amount of weight it takes to compress it uh, that much. So as long as I keep everything equal, I can compare them. This highly scientific device here it's just a connection for my air hoses. But uh, the reason I have it is because I was trying to come up with a way to uniformly compress the springs. I came up with this piece of pipe and this fixture, which will go into here. And I'll just compress it down until it reaches that point right there. Poor little guy, I didn't mean for you to fall over. But first, I'm going to take the recoil spring out of the P64 that's here now and compare it to the two new springs. One of the things I love about the P64, other than its ruggedness, is the fact that it's so easy to take down. All you do is pull down on your trigger guard and pull back on the slide and raise up at the same time. Just like that, it's that easy. So here's the recoil spring that came with it. I would say the original, but I'm not sure that it is. Just for a quick comparison, let's put it up against the 22 pound spring. It actually looks like it's a little longer. Well, maybe not. Now let's see how it goes up against the uh, 20 pound spring. Okay, it's a little bit shorter than the 20 pound spring. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is kind of calibrate my scale here. And of course, the scale isn't that accurate, but I still want to try to get this as close as I can. So I've 
calibrated it with the uh, weight of all the materials on there. Okay, so I'm going to test the Wolf spring, the Wolf 20 pound spring first. And I'm going to concentrate on the top of the scale, and I'm not going to uh, try to look at the scale. But what I'm going to say is mark. I'm going to try to push the spring down and say mark when I think I've got this uh, pushed down properly. And then I'll do that three times for each spring. So this is the 20 pound spring, 20 pound wolf replacement spring. Mark. 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 Okay, this is the twenty two pound wolf spring. The Wolf 22 pound spring. And it's noticeably harder, obviously. Let's see if I can get it to mark. 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 Okay, this is the spring that was in the pistol when I bought it from J and G Sales. I'm not sure what the uh, poundage is on this spring. That's one reason why I want to test it. Mark. 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 Okay, I thought it would be interesting just to show you what I was doing at the top of the scale whenever you were looking at the face of the scale. I placed the spring in this PVC tube and I took this device and put it in the center. And again, this was just to, to be able to push down evenly trying to make, make this as scientific as possible. And then I did this with two hands. I'm going to try to do it with one hand. I was holding the tube still with one hand, but I was not pushing down. I was just holding it still and then pushing down until it met that point right there. Oopsie. There we go. Now it looks like I'm pushing down, but I'm not. With this hand, I'm not pushing down. I'm just stabilizing it back and forth. Okay, so that's how I did that. Very scientific, thank you. Okay, while I'm tabulating the results, I thought I would uh, put this back together and give you a little more uh, close-up look at this pistol, this fine pistol. I'm going to go ahead and put the 20 pound, I'm going to actually go ahead and put the 22 pound spring in it. I'm going to take it to the range in the next few days and try out the 22 pound spring. And if the, you know, if the ammo doesn't feed well, I'll go back to the um, original spring or I might try the 20 pound. Okay, I just about had to wear this spring in myself. <laughs> I was sitting here for probably 10 minutes trying to get this thing on and I finally got it on but I had kept having to rack it back and forth to get it on that's with the 22 pound spring 
click that into place. It has the 22 pound spring in it, but it is very hard to take uh, to take down now. I'll show you what I mean. You saw how easy it was before. Pull the trigger guard down. Now you just about have to ram it. And again, after I tried for about 10 minutes and couldn't get that thing off. But uh, I guess the spring's gonna have to get worn in a little bit. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how it shoots.